Okay. Well, I got a lot of good stuff. Let's say we head back and put down a torch here somewhere so that this entrance is a little better to see in. Ow. And let's just head back. Not even that far from the house, so this is a win-win for me. Yay! There's a tall tree here. I'm going to cut it down in victory. Victory tree! Alright. Okay, that's a guide. I was afraid it was a zombie coming for my brains, even though it's still daytime. Alright. So, um, hmm. Uh, okay, so let's see. First things first. Let's melt some of the stuff we got. Actually, no. Let's first take some of this silk. Make some silk. And then we make a bed. So, a bed is basically a spawn. If you set it down and use it, if the conditions are right, you can, um pretty much set your spawn yourself a spawn point I won't go into detail on that at the moment though um, simply because uh, there's a lot more to it than that I'll when I place it I'll describe it later in any case um I'm gonna go ahead and make all this in these uh, this all this iron into bars because that's really awesome to have and let's take some of that and make an iron anvil which by the way um, get away, get out of my house, stupid slime. God damn, why are you letting all the monsters in, guide? You're really, you're really starting to get irritating. You know that? Alright, so I just made an iron anvil, which I can use for, um, crafting. So on that note, uh, how about we expand the house a bit, since we have a bit of daylight now. Um, I think I still want to make it out of brick, I'm just not sure what kind yet. Uh, let's make it out of a nice, um, oh yeah, I can also make a chest now because I have some extra iron. Let's just make one so I can, uh, I use it. Um, chests are what you kind of expect. Um, they basically act as a sort of, um, oh darn, I can't think right now. They act as a storage means, um, go into more detail on that later, but, uh, for now, let's take, um, oh wait, you make gray brick out of stone. Okay, well, I have a surplus of that right now, so let's go ahead and make some of that. Okay. So, um, hmm. Actually, maybe I shouldn't have made all my stone yet into that. Uh, oh, well. Let's just cut out all this wall. I'm gonna have to get, and I'm gonna get that red brick back because that's not quite what I intended to do. I don't know, I rethought how I'm going to place it, so everything, so... Stop attacking the guide, you stupid slimes. It's always when I'm rebuilding my house. Why can't they let me build my house in peace? Let me build my house in peace, you effers. Alright. And to remove this uh, stone, I believe I'm gonna need a pick. Yep. I get the brick back, though, that's good. Yay, I get my brick back. Alright. Um, I think I do want to quickly go out and get more stone, though. Let's see, where's a good stone quarry? Oh, here's good. This is as good a place as any. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, get some stone. Really, the material collection is maybe the most tedious part of this game. But even then, it's not even tedious. At times, it can be kind of fun, the underground, actually. Just, you know, dodging monsters and everything. The fighting is just as fun as everything else. Like, in Minecraft, fighting off the monsters really isn't what I'd consider fun, you know? Because sometimes it's a little buggy and the zombie will attack you when you it shouldn't be able to. Other times, you'll be in a fight for your life against a skeleton. You'll get shot, or, or and there's not even and there's the creepers too. This game does not have a single creeper in it. And where the hell is the guide going? He's getting attacked by slimes, of course. 
By the way, slimes seem to have a tendency to always get in places where they shouldn't be. I don't know why they insist on doing it, but they just love to come into your tunnels and bug the shit out of you. Anyway, let's take that stone I have now and start expanding outward. Alright, so this will be... What I want to do? One, two, three, four... Uh, just kind of knock it out here, just to make sure we uh, kind of block the grass from growing. Alright. And there will be madness to this later, I promise. A method to this madness that I'm doing right now. Alright, let's now go over here. Head back in here. Um. Whoa. Don't scroll too far. Uh, let's see. Gray brick wall. Here we go. Translate some of that uh, gray brick into actual wall. And let's just not have the bombs in our inventory. That's a bad thing. Wow, is that my inventory already filled up? Damn. Really didn't think I found that much already. Oh, wait. I put that over a little too far. Oh, well. This is what one thing a hammer's for. It's for removing, st usually building stuff like this that you didn't mean to place. Like walls and such. Uh, I need to put some doors back up soon, though. getting a little annoying. Actually, no, let's put up the wall walls again right now. But uh, where do the doors go? Here's the doors. I can replace the platforms for... Actually, uh... No, no, no. Let's replace the axe for the time being, because I'm not placing any wood for a while. Now we got a door again. Just for these platforms. Okay, just getting a little bit of measure over the top of my head here. I think I want to place this here and here. Go like that. Alright. Oh great, now they're to hopping on top of my structures. Will they ever leave my house alone? Get out of my house, you little pieces of shit. Alright. So long story short, I'm simply building my house, so I have the option of building a few different levels here. This is basically going to be like, uh, my way of getting up and down in the house, right here. It does help. Alright, so now I made that side. Let's, uh, do I want to make a dual side here? Uh, what the hell I say. So, uh, let's open this door again. I am wasting precious daylight, though. Like, just building up on my house. Pimping it out and all that. But I say, what the hell is wrong with that? And so long as there is a brick to build against, it doesn't really matter how you build this. Except if you do it wrong. That's not quite the way I wanted it to go. Alright, so let's level this a bit more. that down. I want to put this back though, this dirt I knocked out here. Mm, 
knock away this dirt here. Make the ground look all nice. I'm killing this thing with a hammer, which is one of the most pathetic weapons you'd be killing these things with. Imagine that. More wall. So you kind of have to note that when you place wall, it uh, kind of goes sort of half in between the normal little squares here and everything. I don't know, it, it, this game takes a little bit of getting used to in certain ways. And I'm still gonna get, and I'm gonna get really annoyed by that whole issue with the, um, still can't place my finger on it. The sticky bombs being there, just like, oh, you need to make some sticky bombs since you've got them. And I say, no, I don't want to make sticky bombs, because it's my game, I can play it however I want. Maybe I don't want sticky bombs. Maybe I want to do something else with my stuff instead. Alright, while I'm here, let's make a pair of doors. So I don't get assail assaulted on this side. Meanwhile, I need more stone. Because I was being stupid and didn't get enough while I was out. Don't have much daylight left. I better make sure I can go and get some before it gets too dark. And what? Why are you down here? Get the hell out of that hole. I don't know why I saved the guide. He's gotten me in a little more trouble inside the house than anything. Yeah, I'm a nice guy. I might as well save him. Now watch as this completely backfires and having him back in there will somehow kill me. And there is like a wave of like light that strokes through the water every time you uh, break a block underwater. So it can kind of make it easier to see what you're doing in that respect. Especially if it's kind of dark to begin with. So it has to be a block that will actually uh, matter in terms of like a uh, say... Uh, visibility of light. Like, are you actually displacing the light? Oh, god damn it. Oh, man. They're coming after me again. Ooh. Well, let's actually see if I can mine some of this out real quickly. See? More stone right here. You see, this is... Stone is like one of those resources, at least in my opinion, that you can never get enough of. Not that it's necessarily good for anything aside from aesthetics, but... Well, I want to build my damn house and pimp it out, so... You got a problem with that? I gotta hurry though. What little stone I have here might be enough, but I doubt it will be. Oh, and it's almost dark. The zombies will be coming out any moment now. Ah! Better hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, come on, come on. Don't get stuck on little ledges now. This is the worst time to get stuck on ledges. Tiny little ones, as a matter of fact. And why aren't you heading home already? Hurry and head home. It's gonna be dark, and I don't want you dying to zombies. It'd be kind of funny, and I really wouldn't mind if you did, but... Oh, that's horrible of me. Alright, um... <sighs> right, let's make sure this side's also lit up. Alright. Oh, look. Tiny little mushroom. All out there in the open. Getting my ass kicked by a slime again. How wonderful is that? Okay, um, because I kind of expanded out the house, he may not consider this his home anymore. Not necessarily a loss. Not necessarily a loss.
basically I'm gonna repeat what I did uh, I'm basically now building a basement right now that's my focus at the moment a nice little basement area here where I will have a chance to kind of relax and build stuff in peace and the zombie will try to get in my door and he will fail because he sucks Digging up the dirt. Alright. Got a nice little wall there on that side. Let's just go ahead and just dig out the same thing on this side for uh, clarity's sake. down and this should be that. Alright. This will be the stone. Oh, darn it. I think I dug a little too deep there. Alright. One thing that kind of uh, they do in this game that doesn't happen in Minecraft is the fact that I placed the wrong block type, yes. Yeah, you will actually scroll through sometimes, and just like in Minecraft, you might place the wrong block at the wrong time. It is, a, is another notorious little thing here. But what I was actually trying to say... Um... Shoot, I can't remember now. And where is this... Why is this grass springing up there? No. Don't bring, spring up there, grass. I don't want you springing up there. But, um, notorious is the fact that you'll... Oh, I've actually forgotten entirely what I was going to say. That sucks. What was it I was trying to think of right now? I was trying to think of something to point out. That would have been hilarious. Well, shit, I can't remember anymore. Why is there even grass spreading inside here? There shouldn't be any grass able to, well, outside, yeah, I suppose, but no, even then, that shouldn't be coming in here. Holy shit, that's a lot of demon eyes. I might actually go out and kill them for the sake of uh, maybe getting some goodies. Huh, maybe. Alright, let's just, I don't know, first steps first, let's try to do as much as I can toward establishing something of a base of operations here. That means getting every bit of necessity pretty much put together. This may not necessarily be the easiest way to put it all together in one place, but hell, it's my base, I get to put it together the way I want. And if I want some of my crafting stuff in the basement, then hell yeah, that's where I'm going to have it, where I'm going to have it all. If only I could turn dirt into stone. Because you will get so much dirt in this game, and just like in Minecraft, it's pretty much useless. Well, particularly in this game, it's only use... It actually does have a use for dirt wall, which is... You know, it's already kind of there, so you know, it's kind of really pointless.
have just enough stone for this, actually. Alright, I had enough stone for that, which is good. Or sort of good. Alright, so I got a nice little well-lit basement here. Gonna have to substitute the walls with stone at some point, but... Well, I'll get more stone for that at another time. Uh, shoot, what was I gonna do now? I was going to... Um... Na -na 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 -na. Crap, I really can't remember what I was gonna do. I think I was gonna erect a... Right, right, you know what? Let's do this. Let's, uh, make sure I can put this up. So let's make, see where the middle is, and... Darn it, why is there always grass growing down here? Stop growing grass, seriously. You shouldn't be able to grow down here. You are well stemmed away from any other grass in the area. You should not be able to grow, period. In any case, now I got an anvil up, so let's see what I can do. Well, first off, because of all the iron and stuff I have, I can make some really good stuff. So let's see what I have the options of making. Um, I think right now my best option is to take some of it and make an iron broadsword, which is much better than anything else. Uh, let's also maybe just place this chest here for now, just so I have a place to put stuff and craft stuff at the same time. Ooh, I have enough for an iron helmet too, but uh, I think I'm gonna hold off on helmet wear for now. I want to take some of this iron and make some chains, which will be helpful later. Well, hmm. I have quite a lot of copper. Um, okay, uh, hold on. Uh, let's actually just put the ore away for now. Yeah, let's just put the ring iron bars in there too. Uh, let's just take what I got and put it in here. Uh, do, 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 do. Can make another thing. Um, sunflower. I need to get rid of that. Um, damn, I have a lot of silver already. I didn't think I had that much already. Alright, well, in any case, I could probably move on to the next step then, if that's the case, if I have that much silver. Gosh. I know I haven't died in a while, but seriously, I didn't expect myself to be holding on to that little, that much. Ugh. Um, hmm. I'd love to demonstrate the bed, but I don't think now's a good time for that. Well, in any case, let's see how good this iron broadsword is, because this is technically uh, two upgrades above the wooden. Oh yeah, that's much faster, much more da- uh, well, in this case, 150 times more damage. Actually, let's get up here on the roof where I can actually have a nice little chance to fight. Yeah, ah, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm a beast now. You gotta love finding a nice little iron deposit. Oh, okay, he got me there, but... Still, I am taking these guys out at least 150 times faster. Let's see, did I get any, el anything else out of that? And another lens. I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten any uh, black lenses yet. I would have expected by now. Ooh, let's kill a zombie with my new sword. Why not? Let's kill two zombies at the same time. Oh... Was I doing this much damage? Or was, no, I was doing four at first. Okay. Well, yeah, the iron broadsword is definitely what I consider the next upgrade you want to do as soon as you get enough iron. Uh, let's see what else I have access to here. Um, you know, I might want to actually smelt some of this ore. Uh, just real quickly. I'm not really going to make anything. I'm just going to smelt some of it, I guess, just to have the option. Oh, I must have put most of it away. Alright, so now I got some copper. Let's see what I have here. I can make some greaves and a chainmail. 25 and 20. 25 and 20. 25 and 20. Alright, I got some chainmail and some copper greaves. Yes! I now have defense, folks. An extra three defense. I'm not going to die as fast anymore. Um, 
Uh, I could take the silver and make something, I suppose, but... Eh, I'm gonna hold on to it just in case. Silver is kind of precious, so... Alright, so then, next time on Let's Play Terraria, I'm gonna go do something else. Maybe I'll go in a cave, or maybe I'll, uh, help make this place a little more hospitable for others, if you know what I mean. This is Solomon, signing off. Have a good day.